Hello, and welcome to the SAP Business One overview video. For this video, we're going to be focused on sales, specifically sales quotations. So let's go over here to our menu bar and open up sales. And we can see that we have quite a lot of items that we can review. But as I mentioned, we're going to be focused specifically on sales quotations. Now, I can click directly here on the menu on the left hand side, and this will open up a new sales quotation for me. Or if we look at our sales dashboard that I have open here, I can look through my sales process and I can see that I have sales quotation available here. Once again, I can just click on that and it will take me to a blank one. Some of the other things that we can do is that by clicking this blue ball, we have the ability of looking at an open item list. So let's go take a look at that there. And we can see that by clicking on this open item list and going to our sales quotations, I can see all the sales quotations that are already open. A very nice way for me to be able to just drill down by using those golden arrows into a sales quotation. But let's open up a blank one here and let's fill this out very quickly. I have a couple of different ways that I can create a quotation. I can do it manually as I am going to be doing right now. I can also copy this from an existing quotation uh, and duplicate it or I can upload a group of quotations uh, through an Excel template. But what we're going to do today is we're just going to add in a new sales quotation very simply and easily. I'm going to choose my customer and then my customer information is already pre-populated and then I can go in and I can start picking and choosing my items. Now just like I can add in items very easily onto any other document here by either using my shift key or my control key I can choose multiple um, items as they go in and you'll see that once this goes into the system here I have a quantity of one that's automatically populated I have my unit price and then I have my total if there were any discounts that were associated either with the product or with the customer those would automatically be reflected here now as we can see that my currency here is US dollars I can have different currencies if necessary and under the logistics tab and the accounting tab we can see the ship to and bill to addresses are already populated using the defaults now of course these can be changed if you'd like under the accounting I can see exactly where my payment terms and my accounting information is coming from and under my attachments tab I can always add an attachment as I can do very simply and easily in business one uh, through any other process uh, in any other sheet for attaching uh, items. Now, as we can see down here, the sales employee that's associated with this customer is automatically populated. However, I could change that if I'd like to and be able to update uh, with a different sales employee. I can also see that I have a copy from button available where I could copy this from a blanket agreement if I had that open for this customer. And in another video, I talk about blanket agreements. You'll notice that the copy to is grayed out because I have not saved this into the system yet. So let's just go ahead and save this uh, and add it in and then go back to our previous. Now, as you can see here, my copy to becomes available and I can now create a sales order, a delivery and AR invoice directly from here, which we'll see in other videos. Thank you very much today for listening to the sales quotation overview in SAP Business One.